Hello everyone, uh, in this video we are looking at quad 3D composition and how it can be used to plan paths. Uh, so basically what we want to achieve uh, is that there's a robot and it's in an unknown space, it has a line of sight. So it starts moving in this space, finding uh, what the path will be if we basically specify the start and the end point later. So it creates its own map and that's what we want to achieve. Uh, so we have two codes over here, one is the quad3.py one is the robot.py. Robot.py is basically for the code where we uh, create our robot and we tell it how to move, how, how the function runs uh, using the Pygame console. And so basically all we do over here is uh, tell the robot how to move, how to go about it uh, and give it different functions. Uh, Quartry.py is the main code where we create the environment and uh, so we have the data sets set over here. So this is like used to create our uh, space and this one is uh, in quadri py what we do is we basically create the path uh, using those points that we specified and then we uh, tell the robot how to perform quadri decomposition using it so let's quickly go over here and let me run this code okay uh, so it'll open up the pi game console in maybe 10 seconds from now and so what you will see is you will actually see two windows one window is basically uh, so this is the one and this is the other one okay so in this window we have an unknown path unknown space in which our robot which has this blue line of sight so it starts moving from its start point and then it keeps on discovering the environment so all the paths that come like in its way of sight so it keeps on knowing them and then over here what we create it's it's actually planning its path so it's plotting different points with, which it discovered and so what what will happen is like after the entire space has been searched it has like it has been through entire space we can actually specify a start and an end point and then this robot using the space using the uh quadri decomposition like it has already discovered what what paths to take if specified a start in the end point so using that it will like find its path so we'll have we'll have to wait till it like finds the it explores the entire space I think we are almost done now okay so now that it has disappeared it basically specifies it tells us that it has actually searched the entire map and so it says map size is four and so many zeros and quad tree max size quad tree size okay so now what we can do is we can specify a start point and an end point and it simply finds the part from the start to the end point uh, we can this so it says search time is 0 0.01 so that's quite good and it visited 607 nodes and it says it found the path so what we can do is we can like take a trickier one so this one and let's say over here okay so it goes over here and finds a path from the side uh, so if if you decide to have have a path that is actually not possible so it will freeze for a second okay so it freezes for a second and then it does nothing because we don't have a path right so i think it this this basically shows that the code is working fine uh, you can try one more it will work every time so visit 32 it has a high accuracy uh, if you have any queries you can ask in the comment section uh, i'll be putting the link to the github uh, repository in the description you can download the source code from there and if you have any suggestions you can that suggest that to me in the comment section so thanks for watching